What's up guys? I'm Josh with Daiko Jiu Jitsu. Um, I'm here with my buddy Austin. We're going to go through five ways to help you finish more of your ankle locks. Let's get into it. So one of the first things that people do whenever they come back to an ankle lock is they forget this foot and then now that I forgot it, if I'm trying to go for my attack over here and he ends up getting his proper grips, he can actually get the tap before I end up getting it. So important detail, tip number one, always hide this foot underneath if you can. Second tip, this foot, this top leg right here, you always wanna make sure you're pushing him away and keeping the distance right there so that you can extend better. Cause one of their first defenses is they'll, if you have this foot hidden, is they'll actually push this foot down and then they'll hop, they'll scoot over. And then now I don't have the angle. He can start coming in towards me, all that good stuff. So you got tip number one, keeping your foot uh, hidden. Tip number two, this foot right here, um, making sure it's pushing away. Um, third tip, sometimes people are too loose with their knees and it causes him to be able to maybe torque his knee outward and he, he can start dictating which angle um, that he would want for an escape. So third tip for you all is to make sure you clamp the leg, right? And then um, just try to immobilize it because then you can control where, where your submission is. Fourth tip, I see a lot of people if they're doing all this and they end up trying to come back is they're, they're on the calf, they're way up here and they're leaning back and they can't get it. Well, one of the issues is they don't, they need to come back farther so you can finish it right here. And then if that's not, if you still can't finish it at that case, that was the fourth tip. The fifth tip, you got all the other four in place. You can fall to the shoulder and start pushing back for the finish. Okay guys, see y'all next time.